Jackie Ding here and welcome to a long-awaited oh. episode of Time Attack Rivals with true rival here, <laughs> you know, Kevin Burke. Yeah. Uh, we've been, we go way back with friends from quite a while ago. Yeah, real talk. And showing us off his brand new build, the S2000. Yep. It's a track mark car in this weekend for Good Life. Correct. Uh, in GTOB Limited? Yes, correct, Limited. Yes, like got some very interesting parts and got some very, very intricate era. We love to look at it now, especially when we come out to the West Coast, you know, we get to compare with West Coast cars, with the East Coast cars, right. the Midwest cars, you know, we, we obviously have all the ASM cars that we featured quite a while ago with right. Eddie and the Alex. So, uh, walk us through from the front to the back. What is it? Okay, so on the front of the car, the biggest, one of my proudest things is the front splitter. So this is a birch face composite splitter. Um, he's an S2000 guy who oh, makes so these, it, right? yeah, like one of those like mad scientist type guys. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah. But it is absolutely amazing. I can send you some pictures to show of like underside, but it has three different sets of tunnels. So it has oh. a pretty massive tunnel here, a massive tunnel there with a, a rake, a side strike or a strike. And then it also has a center tunnel which is about this wide and it comes out about that big. And he modeled it after, uh, he did a lot of research on the GT3 splitters. So he like got like, all sneaky with the photos and kind of like used that as inspiration. So that's the splitter. And then as you can see, the car does have the J street kit. A uh, couple of reasons we went with the street kit versus the track kit. Uh, it's a little more readily available and it's it, inexpensive to replace if you have an off versus like the track kit, which is, yeah. there's a one here, a yellow one with the yeah, track yeah. kit too. No, we um, have the same fenders I think. We have the same fenders on my car. Correct. Right? Yeah. The supercharged kit. Yeah, because those are like the widest fitment you yeah, can get. Yeah. yeah um, track spec motorsport uh, hood louvers here, and then a homemade Nacaduct that if you actually peer in there, you can see it's perfectly lined up for the uh, intake. So kind of cool. This was actually set up for when the car was NA. It was actually a sealed hole oh, yeah. for the NA that. box, and it actually lined up perfect. So um, what's this then? So this, if you look inside, this is actually the sequential uh, oil cooler. Oh! And it's all right there. You can see right in oh, there. Yeah. Yep. That's kind of fancy. Yeah. So everything on here we try and use for something. So moving back, we have Titan Seven wheels. These are bespoke for this car. We uh, custom ordered them from them. They've been a sponsor and a partner of mine for years at this point. They are 18 by 10.7 and then ET39, they're almost like super spec yeah, actually, super with just like a different <laughs> offset. <laughs> yeah, it would have fit, yeah, it, it would have fit. fit. Yeah. Um, off, sorry about that, they actually fit perfectly on an RCF, so I actually daily on the other set yeah, yeah. <laughs> of this. Uh, StopTech STR40, we upgraded to the trophy kit because uh, we had that issue with the C43 kit. Yeah, we're we gonna talk about that? We want to, so uh, this, this car, 
<laughs> this car had a very colorful start. Uh, the very first event ever, we had a rotor explosion that actually poked holes in the floor pan, uh, destroyed, it was that side, but destroyed the wheel, destroyed my Wisefab control arms, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Stop tech stepped up to the plate, sent out an engineer, took a look at everything, sent a report, and paid for most of the damages and gave me that, that kit. So That's actually nice of them. Full disclosure, yeah. they, they did reach out and they did make it right. Yeah. Um, and we do have a fix now for the C43. Just run the expensive rotors. Don't run the cheap rotors. Aerovane rotors is what you use in that kit. Okay, so you can't see it, but it does have the WiseFab uh, grip kit, nice front boy. and rear. We saw it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, most people know. This is one of the first Track S2000s with that kit. So we kind of like, it, it was no one wanted to make the jump, so we partnered up with them, and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> it updates the car. Like, the best thing I can describe it is like the on limit behavior is like an 86 or like a, a Mustang or like any a modern car that has good geometry, which this car was lacking. A Supra. I didn't say Supra. All right, um, so under the engine bay. Okay, all right, before we do that, under the engine. Under the engine. So, actually, you can see the splitter, that third. Um, Oh, yeah. Diffuser I was talking about, so that's pretty oh, yeah. unique to like this car. You don't really see a lot of that, so we're kind of no, experimenting with that. On our car. Do you have that on your car? Yeah. Thank you, Verse. <laughs> okay, so this is a TV Performance Products uh, strut bar. It was used as a tow point when I didn't have a front tow hook. That's why it's oh. a little bit bent up. So this actually, so the colorful history. We had a catastrophic engine failure after the brake rotor. This is a stock spec F22, mm -hmm. just with like the Rockstar special bits for boost, which is like just little things here and there that they change that they've seen work better with boost. The uh, turbo kit is a Science of Speed off the shelf kit with a G. T thirty five eighty two R X thirty five eighty two R probably a Gen two. We are we are sponsored by AMS Performance, who is the largest care, uh, sell, uh, you know retailer in you know, North America. So I find that really interesting. You still keep these stock heat shield, right? Even though the, the I mean the battery is still there's a small lithium, I guess from the yeah. RSD and, and honestly, yeah, it's a Shore Eye lithium weighs like four four pounds. Yeah. Um, and I kept the heat shield there because lithium ion batteries like to get hot and catch on fire. So uh, that's just like one of those extra things that I do to keep it everything good. Um, yeah, APR cooling plate, CSF uh, dual pass radiator, the Rockstar garage spec with the small fans. That is like totally key to keeping the car cool. We don't have any oil cooler on this car and it all the temps are fine. Uh, we do have the front mount intercooler, we don't have the V-mount set up either. So it's right, pretty basic it. turbo, really. The suspension is Feel 443s, which are a s basically, well, they're Feel with Penske internals and Penske canisters. So it's a Penske three-way canister, but a Feel body. Okay. And then the three ways, I worked closely with Odie to like kind of get the car set up and we had to spring up the car from where it was with NA to 20K front, 18K rear. Um, so for an S2000, for an S2000, it's a lot. I think it was um, ours. Ours is maybe like 14, 12 when I super. Yeah, that, that's yeah. typically it's 14, 12 yeah. or 16, 14. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did a lot be, to make up for the splitter, 315s, sure. all that good stuff. And then moving back, I guess. Um, interior. Interior or lack thereof. We have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a race bread uh, floor plate, which for a gutted car, it's just really important. Actually, I didn't realize how good it was. And so it levels it out and then also adds grip tape on the bottom. So you feel a little bit like a skateboarder when you're heel towing. Recaro pole position seat, uh, Schroth, uh, six point. In a fuel ratio, sequential shift indicator, which is a new new addition. Wait, actually, talk to us about that, the sequential. Yeah, oh. I alluded to it a little bit. Okay. That's a big So, one. yeah. That's expensive. It has a Quape six-speed sequential, and the reason we did that is reliability. The stock uh, F22 or S2000 Trans has some issues when you have 300, 350, 400 pounds of torque. So this is more of a like buy once, buy right type of situation. The car is still a throttle cable car, so it's not drive by wire, so I have no auto blip, no throttle cut, no anything, so essentially um, I'm still heel toe and doing everything as if it was a manual, so it's just a reliability mod and it sounds amazing. So you can't do the whole like left foot brake and just blip the throttle and downshift? You can You can do that. Yeah. It's hit or miss and I'm not quite used to it yet because this is really my third event with the car mm -hmm. uh, and first weekend really without any problems like small things but like the car just run like a top all weekend um so yeah the sequential is pretty pretty rad and then we put that uh indicator in place because the first two events i tested the car with we didn't have an indicator and that was that was fun um moving forward from the from the front so my 
S2000 speed sensors are located in the transmission, so when you change the transmission, you lose your speedometer. Oh, yeah. So we put a little SpongeBob uh, <laughs> as a cover to not distract magic. me from the bright magic. A car runs on magic. <laughs> Moving on, aim solo. I don't leave home without it. Yeah. Very, very important. Most important very. mod I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah. We're not even a sponsor by it. Uh, <laughs> we should be. We sell a lot of them. Both, Thanks, of, us, both of us should be. We should be. <laughs> well, well. Hit us up, Abe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Rockstar Garage Roll Bar. I am going to put the cage, a cage in it soon, mm. but we wanted to get everything testing, everything done before we did that. Moving back, your we fender, have... Your fender does fit a little bit nicer than mine. I'll, put, I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, moving back, we do have a Cobra differential. So it is the Ford 88 kit oh, that shit. you've okay. seen. Yeah. yeah, so the benefit of that is quick swapping. Uh, you can also tear it open, change the final drive, yeah. like do all that fun stuff. Because the S2000 is a little bit of like a magic box. If you open up that diff, like they don't usually last. Uh, There's like a Honda magic to it, at least that's what we've seen. Right. So we just went with the 488 uh, rear and they it's been it solid. quite easily, the, the, the Honda did. Correct. I'm going to say anything else. C42 rear kit. Um, little, little tidbit about the C42. I actually met Brad Abrams at the racetrack one day and I asked him, this is three, four years ago, yeah. why they don't make a rear BBK for the car. And, you know, we, we chatted a little bit. I took him for a ride in the car and I'm like, I think it really needs one. Eight months later, this kit was born, and you can ask Brad himself. He's, this is the first kit that came out was on my car, and I was a big reason that why it actually happened. I so, Brad. Brad, yeah, Brad's no longer at Soft Tech. Yeah. Um, he's living his best life. He is. Yeah, he's having a lot of fun. <laughs> he is. Um, okay, moving back, I guess G Stream. Um, this is their Comp 1000 wing, and I think on their website, at 150 miles an hour at zero angle, they claim a thousand pounds of downforce. That's a lot for a single element. That's it's it's good. impressive. It's like yeah. dual element level of downforce. Yeah. I also want to bring one thing up because you guys see my wing pretty often. Come check out how thick boy. <laughs> yes. Thing is. It's like two, three inches thick. Yeah. It's, it is three. It's so big. Yeah. So we draw it. It's like a hamburger size. <laughs> It is a little draggy, as you can just look at it, but it's very, very like, make a ton of downforce, which is what we need. There are also custom end plates here that I'm not a expert on, but they do things. It is chassis mounted, and obviously I can't show you, maybe we can put it in a little clip, but the chassis mounting system is awesome. It just bolts into the trunk, oh. and then it has a heim joint going straight onto that little piece in between to stop it from bowing backwards. Okay. So yeah, it's a really show us, some, show us some videos of that because that sounds really cool. It's really it's really neat. I can put some pictures in too. I'll send you guys some pictures. Um, Track Spec Motorsports did all the fab work and they did an absolute phenomenal job and oh, they so did the same it. Guys did the events. Correct. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So same guys. Uh, obviously Jay's rear end here. A little OEM uh, spoiler here. It was just on the trunk, so I kept yeah, it. Double decker. <laughs> double decker. Um, going around. I mean, did, did I miss anything? Oh, the we can do the double. Uh, my double uh, side skirts. Oh, actually. So those are interesting. Um, so these are the J side skirts, and when we put them on, they're not quite long enough. So the boys at Rockstar decided they have these lying around. These are old Rockstar garage spec ones okay. that were damaged, obviously. So they put it on stack on top, and there's actually a pan underneath here, so it's very flat, and it just comes out that little extra bit. So is the car flat body or not? Flat bottom. It is not. That is on the list of things to do. Uh, we actually have some some carbon 747 uh, floorboards that we're going to use what? for the flat bottom. What? Yeah, so uh, it turns out you can buy uh, aerospace grade carbon in sheets that are used as floorboards in 747 planes. So when they dismantle them, they have these gorgeous big, like I think they're five by eight sheets of carbon and you can get them pretty cheap if you know somebody at the, uh, the yard that dismantles them. So I actually did a video on it. If, uh, if you can do that. <laughs> also, I do have a YouTube channel. Not nearly as good as Jackie's, hey, but did you, did I try. Can we just plug in our channel <laughs> with his channel? I run all Torco fluids in the car. Always do that. Uh, and talking with some of their chemical engineers, uh, something we do a little differently is we use non-synthetic oil in the car. Oh. So I'm not not an expert on this, so bear with me. But what I've been told, and also what I've seen, is that the the non-synthetic blend that Torco has, a TR1R, plays really well with E85. Okay. So it almost like blends well and creates a better seal on the rings. And I've actually seen this because, I swear I'm not making this up, this thing hasn't burned a drop of oil all weekend. I don't know how that's possible, and I think something's broken. <laughs> because I don't, my dipstick's broken. I don't know, but I keep going. 
I don't know. Right. Haven't burned a drop of it all weekend. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, so the the car makes the car makes on I guess high boost, um, which is what we're at now, about 20 pounds, 521 wheel horsepower on a NASA Dino Jet. On our low boost setting, which was every event except for this one, we just yeah. turned it up recently, was 469, I think, wheel horsepower. About 520. Yeah, 520 is where it's at right now, um, and we're pretty conservative on that, but obviously with the older, like G35 or GT35 turbo, uh, it's going to give a little more lag the more boost you push at it. Yeah. So I actually don't know how much faster it is at the smaller tracks like Streets of Willow where you hit the gas and it's just like one, two, and For then sure. goes. For sure, because uh, even you know the same turbo GTX 3582, we use that, and AMS uses that in the Supra as a drag kit. Yeah, That's exactly. Big a drag turbo. Yeah, and R3076, which right. is kind of what you expect to be like a more road course street, uh, street kind of response turbo, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, we had a big, big long stroke three liter, whereas this is just, you know still relatively long stroke, but it's a two liter. You know, the displacement yeah. kind of how much air moves is all relative to each other. So mm -hmm. it's still pretty impressive to see how, how big of a turbo they got. You know, big old turbo on this thing. But um, it's also the F series. We didn't talk about that because yeah. everyone is saying K swap these S two thousands and the world. I it, could and not. Are selling, selling K swaps like this. I could not disagree more so the f-series is a far superior motorsport engine and sure the k is cheaper but it will not last as long as an f that is my opinion and what we've seen also uh doing a lot of work on these cars a lot of road racing right, um, well, <laughs> andy comment below <laughs> andy tell me why he's wrong <laughs> um, no the k-swap is a great option i'm not like dig dissing that but there's also the purist in me that really likes the F-Series in the car. That kind of was what makes it special, I'll, I'll be I honest guess. with you. Yeah, when we, when like, we swapped ours for the TV show, and, yeah. you know, it, was, it was, you feel the power kicking in more early, you feel the torque. I do miss that top end though. I do miss that little bit of zing up top. Yeah. When you get to like seven, eight, and ah, it just goes a little bit crazier. It's not the same. Oh. It's just it's not right. the same. Yeah. So uh, what else did we miss here? Anything? OEM hardtop, um, which is growing up in value faster than Bitcoin lately. Uh, we've actually found that these tops are one of the lightest tops you can have on the car Wait, really? if you remove the glass. Uh... So if you do um, a polycarbonate or Lexan rear windshield and gut this, it's aluminum about the size of a tin can. Yeah. And it's so wonky. When you do gut it, it's very fragile, but it's incredibly light. So uh, that's a big reason why we have it, because we'll eventually go that route. And the car came wait, with wait, it. Wait, wait, you're going to gut it? You can sell this and buy a car for sheet and build one for cheaper. But I like yeah. the OEM. I just like it. Like I said, Purus, you know, F-Series, OEM top. That's just that's what I like. Um, Purus, as, as he says, as he pulls on the <laughs> widest freaking fender known to man. <laughs> but I think it's a very well-built car. You know, I think it's a very It's getting there. Package, it's know? getting there. Really? And every event we do, we're getting better and better. We're getting faster and faster. Like I said, this is our first weekend where we just kind of ran it trouble-free. I don't even have a crew out here. It's just me. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crew. So, and the car has been phenomenal. Uh, I've been following this car a lot online. You know, just I just love it. I just love seeing. We didn't. Yeah, like, NA. It did a lot of like good here in SoCal before did. we did all this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember there was a time when uh, he stopped, and the car went to side. We're like, <laughs> oh, you know, he's, he's not gonna do this anymore. Like, he's gone to the Corvette. He's gone to the G7, you know. Yeah. That. And then this came back. Yep. So like, it came the triumphant return. Yeah. And uh, couldn't be happier. I am so happy with the car. Uh, it looks amazing. There's just something about S two thousands. I can't. I can't describe it. I'll probably be a fan for life. So I'm sure many of you guys will be too. There you go. <laughs> Kevin Birch, S2000, turbocharged, F-Series. Yep. Little bit of originality still left in it. <laughs> and really, really quick tracker. So. Yeah. Thanks for showing us the car. Of course, uh, man. His channel, link below. Oh, now you're plugging my channel. So now it's, it's okay when you do it. It's okay when I do it, right? <laughs> okay, right, got it. Thank you for showing the car. Of course, man. Uh, see you all in the next video. Maybe yeah. with Kevin Burke. But in my mirrors. <laughs> oh, I was really close in your mirrors actually yesterday. It was a little bit of a <laughs> I was really right in there. <laughs> it was a fun time, great weekend. and uh, He's just going to yeah. stay off of the cameras. <laughs>